Well, fellas, this is my new daily. Let me explain. Um, if you're new to the channel, we own or we operate quite a few uh, Ram 3500s with an ISIM, but the 22s, the model year 22, has been a nightmare. And it's scary because we've already lost the second engine. I don't know what it is, how it is. I don't know what Ram's thinking. But first engine got, uh, pretty much got a short block and we let that one go. Dealership bought that one back from us. Right now we have another engine that went kaboom and it's getting overhauled. So what I have decided is that I'm gonna personally drive a 22. Either grenade it myself and see what went south or figure it out. Why are these things grenading? What's trigger, triggering these 22s? I've decided this one. Just literally, it's a 22. That's, that's the, deciding, the deciding factor. And the driver uh, just quit and said he found a local job he would like to be more with his family. So perfect opportunity for me to take over this truck. It's a mega cab. To me, most importantly, it's a 22 and a mega cab. So I can fit my kids comfortably. And yank these seats out. Or this play, uh, pl piece of plywood out. You know, you see what you see. And we're going to put some seats in here. And uh, I'm going to try to tow with this thing. I'm going to test with it. She only has 23,000 miles on her. We're going to go ahead and uh, bring her home. And what I mean by that is try to figure out what's causing these things to do what they're doing. I got my speculation at this point. Uh, but it's not a, a solid factual conclusion. So I'm going to keep it to myself. So, as always, you know, just another diesel. I did. I'm going to do what I always do uh closely record fuel mileage closely uh you know see oil condition the oil condition at what mileage i typically like two three thousand mile intervals you know i watch them clearly oh uh, and stuff like that there's just no real reason why 19s 20s 21s were as far as the longevity of the engine you know we got quite a few units north of 200,000 in the fifth gens. I mean, we got a few with 300,000s, but these 22s, first one blue, oh Lord, help me remember, either 68,000 or 86,000. And now the second one uh, got torn apart at 98,000. So, I mean, I don't do crazy mileage nowadays. I don't really drive, or should I say, pull loads all that often like I used to. So I don't, I'm not gonna rack on the mileage. It's kind of hard to not drive that TRX. <laughs> I gotta admit, most useless truck, but man, she's fun. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. Follow along. If you're new to the channel, check out my other videos. You'll see quite a few of these units. For the curious ones, Paul's gonna be driving a 22 Bigahorn Mega Cab with the basic necessities as far as uh, operation goes. And what I mean by operations, for what I need. I need a hollow gooseneck, guys. That's all that she, she you guys need. You know, okay, fine, some airbags. There should be some airbags in there if no one stole them. Yep. And yeah, as always, God bless you in the comment section. Let me know what specific information you guys would like to see. I'll do my best to share it with y'all. Meanwhile, may the Lord bless you. May Almighty find day. Ciao. Bye.